Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, July 20, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Ephesians chapter 4, reading 1 and 2. And it says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called with all lowliness and meekness, with long-suffering, forbearing one another in love. Amen. We give God thanks for this word this morning. And, you know, this is a very interesting verse. Because when we read the text, the first thing might jump out at us is that why Paul is calling himself a prisoner. Is it that the Lord is holding him captive? Is it that he is in a dungeon somewhere? Is it that the Lord have him locked up in some dark room? Or what is it? Why is he calling himself a prisoner? That first part of the the text it may sound very very perplexing but when you consider the context and you consider what Paul is saying and you understand the relationship that Paul and God have then the message becomes clear what Paul is trying to say to us Paul is saying that he is a prisoner, not in the negative way, but rather in the positive. He's saying that I identify with God. I belong to him. I follow his every leading. I walk in accordance with him. So in another sense, he's saying that when you see me you can clearly see whom i belong to i am not ashamed to be identified with my god and i show that to you in everything that i do because what i do his will as he bids me i do my best to live a holy and acceptable life in accordance with his will so everything that I do I do for God so in those sense of the word Paul is saying that I am a prisoner being a and he enjoys being a prisoner so he doesn't mean that he's a prisoner in the negative sense but he's just basically saying that we need to lock ourselves and our focus on God. Yeah? We need to become more. We need to pledge our allegiance and our unwavering loyalty to God. That's what Paul is saying. We if we are deciding to follow God we have to make a conscious decision to follow him all the way we can't operate like we are ashamed to be identified with him and the truth is there are a lot of us who are ashamed to be called Christians we are ashamed to be identified with God because what majority of the world does not identify with God and to the majority we look like the black sheep we look like the troublemakers we look like the odd duck we look strange and so we don't want to feel weird among the crowd and so even if somebody should say ask us if we are Christians we are reluctant to respond with a yes or we find some kind of smart way to respond 
to throw them off guard. Some of us, we conduct ourselves so that we we don't too much look like a Christian, but we don't too much look like a world. So it's a, in, in a sense, it's like we're trying to confuse the world. So that way we remain neutral. But there's no neutral ground here. It's either you're with God or you are against him. And so Paul this morning says that what? He's pleading with us that we walk according to the call that we have been called. So if you are called to be, so what is the vocation that you are called? Are you called to be a pastor? Are you called to be a elder? Whatever position that you have been called to serve, Paul is saying that we need to walk worthy of that position or that vocation. And he gives us some ideas. He says that we need to be humble. We need to be humble. I realize he used those two words that can basically mean the same thing. Lowliness can mean humility as well as meekness is humility. So he emphasized that we have to be humble. We can't be puffing our chest up. A leader, one of the greatest quality of any good leader is humility any leader and i said it without any reservation at all any leader it doesn't matter who you are if you cannot be humble you will fail 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 and god taught us that in everything that God does everything Jesus did while he was here on earth he was humble every step of the way and didn't God exalted him so when we are humble God will exalt us and he says that we need to be long-suffering we need to learn to be patient patient with others we need to be forgiving and we need to practice love and kindness so it's a whole lot paul is saying right here because he realized that many of us are falling short of these things but i want to encourage us along with paul this morning that let us walk in accordance with the will of god let us trust god as we continue to seek his face because whatever we do will testify if we are really on the side of God or we are on the side of the enemy which is Satan so may God continue to bless us and may God continue to guide us as we stand firm and as we continue to walk according to the vocation that we are called to may we continue to be proud of who we are as Christians and may we stand firm on the authority of God's word until he comes. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.